Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to deep dive into the mastering data integrity with JPA. Today, we are going to explore two crucial concepts. One is the soft deletes and other, another one is the audit trails. This powerful feature allow us to enhance our database interaction which is ensuring that our data remains intact and auditable even when it's marked for deletion. Have you ever accidentally deleted a record and which you could recover it or needed to know when a piece of data was last modified and by whom? Soft deletes and audit trails provide elegant solution to these challenges. With soft deletes we can mark records as deleted without actually removing them from the database. It's allowing us to retain crucial historical data. And with audit trails, we can keep a, all the records of changes like who, when, what kind of data modification. So in this session, we will walk through setting up those functionalities in a Spring Boot application using JPA. From defining our entities and configuring repositories to handling business logic and exposing APIs, we will cover it all. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, this session will provide you with valuable insight and practical skill to implement this feature in your own project. So without further delay, let's create the project and do the implementation. To implement this soft delete and the audit trail into our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create that Spring Boot application. So how we are going to create this one, I hope you guys now understand that how we are going to create a Spring Boot application. Because in every session, I have explained that how you are going to create that project. From the Spring Boot initializer, you just need to select all the related information and then you need to just click the download so that it will give us the ready-made project for and you just need to import that project into your editor. Okay, so here I did the same kind of things. Okay, so now after that I have been using this Eclipse as editor, you guys can use any editor and we have uh, like after importing it will be look like this. Okay, so here first of all I need to use that H2 database, H2 in memory database over here. So that's why we need to add that property to use that H2 in memory database, okay, in the application dot properties file. So this is the URL, then driver class name, this H2 driver we are using, username, password, and the dialect. H2 dialect we are using because we are using this H2 database over here. So that is the first step that we need to do. In the next, we are going to create the JPA entity. Let's say we are going to create the simple user entity with basic annotations of this JPA. After that, we are going to add one field which will mark that particular row is got soft delete or not. To maintain this one, we are going to introduce that flag. Next, for audit trails basically, we need to maintain a record of changes to your entities, including who made the changes and when. So for that, we need to add the audit fields into our entity and also we need to use entity listener into the entities jp entities that allow us to respond to life cycle events this listener actually can execute a specific action when certain events occur such as creating updating or deleting an entity so for auditors actually automatically track the changes to entities such as creation and the modification type let's say we need to add some fields like created at and the updated at when entities are persist or updated. In case of the sub delete, we need to implement certain logic to mark the entities as delete without removing them from the database, right? So this entity listener actually provide a powerful way to manage and respond to entity lifecycle events. It's promoting cleaner, more maintainable and robust code. They encapsulate logic that 
ensure data consistency, auditing and other essential behavior without scattering code throughout the application. So let's create that entity first. So let me add this one user entity over here. So if you see that user that entity I have created over here if you see that ID this is the primary key name email and this flag this deleted it will be marked as true as initially it will be false that means that mark it will be not deleted once it will be sub deleted then it will be marked as true in the database and we have generated the getter and setter over here okay next we need to create one auditable actually one uh, class where we need to maintain this entity listener that I was talking about this entity listener and it's actually having this audit listener so first of all let me add this audit listener over here so if you see this audit listener okay so here we have setting this created on where we are setting this created at and the updated at and here we are setting just updated on and this particular class we have used in this auditable it's a abstract class instead of that we can also use this interface and here we are creating this two field and here if you see we have used this entity listener okay so this is that I was talking this is actually responsible to maintaining the audit related information for particular table okay so now this entity creation is done now after that we are going to create that repository which will basically responsible to doing the different types of database activity so here we have created two method one is the responsible to deleting the data means sub deleting actually it's not a hard delete hard delete means once we data delete then it's actually removed from the database also we are not getting in a future for reference but sub delete means we are keeping the record into the database but just marking that particular data we deleted will be true if you see this one like update user say deleted equals to true where id equals to this so that means we are setting that particular field that deleted equals to true that means that particular row will be kept in the database but it will be marked as delete will be true that means this data got deleted means it will not visible to the user or any other one only the respected or the privileged user only able to view that particular user based on the role or something so this is about the soft delete and it will face the find all active user means only deleted equals to false those record will be fetched by this method now we are going to create one service which will keep all the related methods like sub deleted user it will delete the user from the database only sub delete not the hard delete okay it will fetch all the active user if we want to create the user then for that we are going to pass this name and the email and then based on the repository we are going to save this one name and the email if we want to get the user by id if we want to update the user and if we want to hard delete user okay so that also available this will basically delete the user from the database it will not be a soft delete okay so now we are going to write one controller here so this controller having these are the method create user get user by id get all user update user delete user okay so this is actually this delete user will be the soft delete okay so now this uh, code wise we are done now in next what we are going to do we just need to start this application and we will create some user and we will delete the user we will face the user we will check that it is working fine or not and how it is maintaining the audit how it is the swap delete can happening all the things is properly happening or not so that we will check after start this application we will check from the postman now to start this application from over here right click and then run as java application so that it will start the application and as we are using this h2 database in memory database so once it will start then we can see that uh, h2 database also start from in a browser 
okay so application got started now we can open that h2 database so let me use this one okay so this is the h2 database if you see over here let me refresh it okay so if you see that user details already is over here now currently we don't have any data now from the postman we will do some kind of activities like let's first of all we need to create that user so it will insert the data into the database if you see now if we open the database then we can see the execute then if you see that currently deleted will be false created at updated at this is the email this is the name right so this is the details we are getting over here now like if we want to let's say let me add another record over here so it will create the similar kind of record now if we want to delete that record right now if we open this database now here if you see that the two record got inserted over here because we have inserted two records now if we want to delete record the id is one so it will delete that this particular details from the database but let me show you that this one okay so now if you see the deleted flag will be got true for this id equals to one but it is false that means this particular row number one got deleted as sub delete it's, it's still over here that means it's a sub deleted because we have just updating this particular flag as true right so this is the actually sub delete and also audit trail we are keeping the records for like uh, created at updated at those information okay so this is the thing that actually we are going to display for this session that how sub delete basically occur and how this audit trail we are going to maintain over here so this is the things even there there are multiple apis that we can obviously we can do like if you want to get all the user then we just need to like uh, remove this id and then it will be a get api so that it will fetch all the details from the database it will give us the only the active user currently this id to this record only the active because this is the deleted false other one is only true so that's why is return as only the active user so this is the thing about this audit trails and this sub delete so this is actually this incorporating sub deletes we have ensured that deleted record are not lost forever but can be recovered when it's needed right all details have it's actually maintainers this record for many reports like uh, who is doing this update when it's uh, created this record so those kind of information you can easily get from this one so that's all actually about this one if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section Thank you for joining me today. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into essential programming concept. Until next time, next time happy coding. Bye-bye.